warm kingdom greetings in the lovely name of Jesus Christ. I am about to make a very important announcement. Please pay attention for the next few minutes. I'm going to take you into my confidence and share with you my inner thoughts that I've been experiencing especially in this last year. During the course of March, <clears throat> I was intent on opening our church services once again, despite me knowing that it's still a very dangerous period. And so there was a restlessness in my spirit which led me to not opening in March. As time went on, as you might also feel, our heart grows fonder for the things that we miss. And I miss seeing my congregation so very much. Although there was that restlessness still in my spirit, I pushed on and I decided that we will open on the 11th of September, which we did. We had services for the members on the Sunday past and something strange that I noticed. Inasmuch as there was restlessness in my own spirit, I felt that same uneasiness on those who did attend service on the Sunday. And so I went back home and I prayed. And I felt as if my, my gut, my soul was speaking to me. And I felt like the people who attended this past Sunday, many of whom did so, just so that they can show me their support and their love. But inside of them, they too were restless. Listen, if you've been following everything I've been teaching for the last two and a half years, you too will be wise enough to know that we are still living in very perilous times. It is not safe. You know, one of the things that came to mind was a mother that corresponded with me a while back. They go to church somewhere. And the family all went together. One afternoon after service, she sent me a message that her son is having problems. He was sick. He was coughing. He was having fever and temperature. And so, not thinking too much, we prayed for him and kept him in prayer. Later that evening, she sent me a message that her son, who is 23 years old, cannot breathe. And so they're rushing him to the hospital if we can pray. And we kept praying. And 2 o'clock in the morning, they ended up admitting him. At about 10 o'clock that morning, she received a call from the hospital. Her son had passed away. And so, if you think carefully about this, life is so precious. And all the people that God has entrusted me to lead their souls, their lives, they trust me to make decisions, to protect them, to care for them. And I cannot in good conscience, feeling the way I feel about the safety, the exposure to the danger that we face to continue with the services. So it was a beautiful experience. It really lit up our souls. Sister Nash came up to address the people at the 8 o'clock service and tears were filled in her eyes. It tells you how much we miss our people. How precious you are to us. 
but it irrespective of that preciousness and that desire that human desire to see you i think we have to consider what our guts our soul is telling us that inner voice that it's not safe you could be well one minute and you could lose someone precious in your home within a day and i would not be comfortable being responsible for that especially since you getting everything you need to be spiritually well fed to be led by me through these sermons in all areas of your life so for now we will remain closed until further notice and as soon as the atmosphere is clear my spirit feels that peace that complete peace to bring us together we will remain closed in the meantime all functional services pastoral services will be available to you i'll be available for all formalities that you may require from me so there is nothing short that you will have except that we won't see each other in a church setting at least for the little while ahead beloved i i understand there are many people who feel that they cannot have a relationship with god unless they are in a church building unfortunately i cannot please everybody i have to listen to what my inner voice is telling me and so i pray for your support if for any reason you try to reach me and i'm unavailable please send a whatsapp and or contact the number below i ask that you will continue to allow us to pastor you to shepherd you to watch over you during the course of this period we pray that you keep us also in your prayer we really look forward to the day we can all be together and have the peace of mind to fellowship in harmony i pray all of god's very best to you and i pray that you continue watching because sunday again you will receive a powerful word from the lord god bless you